beloved. We are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to unite Abigail Ellis and Samuel Beetson in holy matrimony. Looking out. As many of us know, Abby and Sam met each other right around the beginning of their high school years, and they attended the same church at that time. Fast forward a few years, Sam and Abby had the joy of going to prom with one another. Their relationship continued into college where they took on the challenge of long distance dating. Their love persevered as they each successfully graduated college, moved back to Jacksonville, and together began attending Christ Church. This love that each of us has witnessed, being strengthened by the grace of God, has brought us here today. Father God, we ask you to teach Abby and Sam to love each other fanatically for the rest of their lives. Take you, Abby, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until we are parted by death. I, Abby, take you, Sam, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and obey until we are parted by death. Abby, do you receive this ring and pledge for your lifelong love? Yes. Sam, do you receive this ring in pledge for your lifelong love? I do. I now present for the first time Samuel and Abigail Beetson. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it's not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Sam, I want you to know that I love you both very much and will be praying for you throughout the rest of your life, but also know that I have complete faith that you guys are well equipped to handle whatever life throws at you. I don't want anyone else, cause I know there's not anyone else that makes me feel the way you do. It's easy to prove I don't want I 
Sam and Abby, I am happy you found and chose each other for partners in your life project. I don't want anyone I hope you both remember to keep your marriage loving, kind, support each other, and think about that way the others approach life. Give us a vlog one more time for Abby and Sam. Anyone else that makes me feel